Let's take a look at controlling camera angles and motions in Moon Valley AI. I've tested out prompting for different camera shots in Moon Valley AI, and the amount of control you get is surprisingly good. So let's walk through the useful prompt keywords and camera control feature together. By default, Moon Valley places a camera in front of a person's face, generates a video of the bust of the subject, and centers them in the middle of the video. If you want to zoom in on the face a bit, add close-up shot to your prompt, which places a camera shot on the subject's face. To zoom in even closer, use extreme close-up shot to zoom in on the eyes of the subject, which makes the video feel a bit more personal. Emphasizing the eyes is great for showing different expressions, like anger or sadness. You can tell a lot about a person's mood from just the eyes. The keyword extreme is great for exaggerating the camera effects even more and can be used in front of any keyword. Let's take a step back and get some space by using the hip level shot. Imagine recording the video with a camera placed at your hip. The upper body of the subject will be shown, including the head and torso. This is good enough for most cases. However, if you want to show the entire body, try using full body shot, which pulls the camera back even further to display the entire frame of the subject. Low angle view puts the camera below the subject and points it upwards. This tends to make people in your video look larger and more powerful, like they're looking down at you. The opposite high angle shot places a camera above the subject and points it downwards. This makes your subjects look smaller, like you're looking down at them. Make sure to ask your video to be shot from above in your prompt for high angle shots and shot from below for low angle shots. The high angle shot is like a less exaggerated version of the drone shot or the aerial shot, which flies the camera way above the subject like you're viewing them from out of an airplane. Drone shots are great for getting more perspective of the surrounding environment. The satellite shot is an even more extreme version of the drone shot and flies you super high above the earth. I like using them to capture large chunks of cities. Let's go back down to earth. To capture more of the surrounding environment, use the wide angle camera shot to pull the camera lens back a bit and place your subject within the context of the environment. This is great for showcasing cities or outdoor landscapes. The fisheye lens creates an ultra wide angle effect and is known for this distorted spherical look that you've probably seen on a GoPro. We can record our subject from the side using the side view. It's important to show different camera angles so your videos don't get repetitive. Let's go super low to the ground using the worm's eye view. Imagine you're a worm with a camcorder. This is what you'd see, just the feet moving. To get a bit more of an angle on the subject, try using the Dutch angle shot which theoretically will tilt the camera to get an angled video. This doesn't always work correctly, but it does seem to move your subject off center at least a bit. Finally, don't forget that you can film your subject from behind, which is especially great for videos of exploration and outdoor adventures. In recent updates, Moon Valley introduced a camera control feature, which lets you pick pre-selected camera motions for your videos. Once you've entered your prompt and picked a video render style with the video duration, a pop-up menu will show some additional options. Select camera from the menu, and a list of camera motions will appear that can be added to your videos. I've tested this video out and it's still very experimental. The zoom in and zoom out camera motions are questionable and fairly inconsistent. A lot of the times, nothing seems to happen. The pan camera motions actually work pretty well though, and using them generates the video panning in different directions, exactly as you'd expect. As of my recording this video, if you use the pan camera motions, your video is limited to only one second. This is probably going to get fixed in the patch soon though. For now, you can use the camera keywords I gave earlier to get better results. Moon Valley AI is still being developed and still makes plenty of mistakes, like random physical mutations. However, I've been enjoying the extra level of prompt control compared to other AI video generators. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and go take a look at my other prompted videos for AI.